13th Colony, a whiskey brand that's caused a lot of controversy as of late. Some people care, some people don't care, whatever you may or may not believe. You can't ignore the fact that they are making some incredible whiskey that's commanding a lot of attention. Their latest offering is their 15 year anniversary cast strength bourbon. Let's taste it, see if it actually could be better than their double oak bourbon. Come right back, it's the Mash and Drum. What's up folks, I'm Jason C from The Master and Drum and welcome back to the show. Like, subscribe and help me hit 100,000 subscribers for 2024. All right, the story on this one. To commemorate 13th Colony's 15th anniversary, Master Distiller Graham Arthur selected 25 of his favorite 13th Colony barrels for this single release batch. The result is a 139.2 proof straight bourbon whiskey. And yes, if you're wondering, it does say straight on the label. The family owned and operated distillery was founded in 2009 on the simple idea of making really good spirits for the friends we know and the friends we don't know yet, said Maxwell Darby, president of 13 Colony Distilleries. Our 15th anniversary cast strength bourbon is dedicated to all of our friends, new and old. Thanks to our friends sharing 13 Colony with their friends, we are one of the fastest growing distilleries in Georgia and we're just getting started. This is an eight year, nine month old bourbon bottled at 139.2 proof. That's right, 139.2. They did use French oak staves to mature this bourbon as well. 3,330 total bottles were produced. This was made available in a bottle lottery at the distillery with a rollout in select markets, including Georgia, Kentucky, Florida, Tennessee, Texas, and Arkansas, as well as online through Sealbox and Bourbon Outfitter for a price of 170 bucks. Now, all those bottles pretty much have all come and gone now. The only time you're gonna really see this, unfortunately, is on the resale market. When the 15th anniversary actually first hit the resale market, it was being flipped for about $1,000. $1,000, people were trying to trade it for bottles of Pappy. It was crazy. Now, in the beginning, that was the case, and I think it kind of trickled down to about $900, and now the lowest I've seen it is about 675 bucks, 650 bucks in that same area. The worst part is seeing store owners that are getting this bottle, who got allocations of this, and flipping it you know, for that type of money instead of making it available to their customers. It's just such a shitty thing to do. I mean, look guys, I understand capitalism and making a buck, and this goes beyond 13 Colony to other brands like you know, Stag, pretty much anything from Buffalo Trace, King of Kentucky, anything else that they can make a premium on. It just sucks it still happens, but people are buying them. So, I mean, I don't know, I guess, Still, you want what you can't have. So let's see if this is worth $600. <laughs> Here we go. It smells fantastic. It's intensely fruit forward, which I love. Kind of like a mix of like a, like a caramel apple mixed with like a cherry cordial type thing going on. Yeah, this is like a dessert in a glass, guys. And you know, I'm, and I'm not getting like your typical, while like the brown sugar notes and I think, you know, your vanillas and caramels are there, I think the fruit forward notes of this are so overwhelming, it's kind of taking over the nose for me a little bit. There's such a heavy sweetness to it, kind of like a powdered sugar type vibe, but again, very fruit forward, at least on the nose. Let's try it on the palate, here we go. First of all, the texture of this is outstanding. It is so velvety, just kind of coats the palate. It sticks to the sides of your palate too. Damn. I mean, that's the first thing I know. That's the first thing I always look for, you know, in a, in a whiskey, especially one that's commanding prices like this. Is it thin or does it stick to the palate? This one right now is sticking to the palate. So up front, again, guys, all fruit forward. Very, very sweet. I think there's like this dark uh, type of fruit note here, kind of like a raisin or a date. I think it's just so fruit forward, and I think that's where those French oak staves come in. It all kind of culminates on the back end where you get a lot of spice. I mean, yeah, the proof is there, 139 and change. You're gonna feel a little bit of that power of this, uh, of this whiskey, but man, it's got a lot going on. It's extremely fruit forward though, still on the palate, and I love it. Go for another sip here. I think the more you sip this, the more buttery it gets. It gets into like this brown butter, like you know, almost like a toasted like vanilla cookie 
type thing with like, I don't know, like the sides are kind of caramelized. It gets really sweet. I think the, 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 the bright fruit notes I was getting in the beginning on the nose start taking a back seat to like this just buttery mouthfeel that it has and this buttery flavor too. Again, the, what I like the most here is the, that texture is really sticking around. It's not getting thinner as you know, I get used to this. It's extremely rich on the palate. Another sip here. For me, that date raisin note is up front. That dark fruit note, that cherry liqueur note all hits kind of up front. Once it hits mid palate, that's where you get like that buttery toffee almost type of note. Kind of like that vanilla cookie with like the caramelized sides a little bit, I think. Then once it hits the back end, it starts to really transition to more of a of a spicy, smoky type of, um, of experience. I think that barrel char is very prevalent, which is something that I've gotten before in 13 Colony, especially the, the double oaked, which we'll, uh, we will compare it here uh, in a little bit. But I'm thinking that this, this 15 year anniversary might be even more approachable uh, to most drinkers, even more than the 13 Colony double oak. So let's uh, do a quick compare. All right, 13 Colony double oaked uh, versus the 15 year anniversary. Now the double oaked is, you know, straight bourbon whiskeys, I think about nine years old, some 10 year old barrels in there as well. Um, this is batch one. Now I liked batch one more than batch two. So I'm just using batch one for this one since it's going against an anniversary edition. Now from what I, from what I remember, they do use maple staves uh, in the making of the double oak. They're just not every single barrel that they use in the batch gets the maple staves it depends on how those whiskeys are coming along i guess as it ages over time some that need a little bit of a of a hint of the maple stave will get it some won't so that's how they kind of work it to to create the batch for this yeah the double oak is definitely a different animal versus the 15th anniversary and i think for good reason you get the smokiness you get that meatiness that this double oak uh, bourbon has the 15th anniversary again it's like night and day you're, you're looking at like some deep, deep, rich, chocolatey, brown sugar, almost bacony type notes in the double oaked versus this really fruit forward uh, 15th anniversary. So let's grab the double oaked. See, I love the double oaked. I think it's just killer. It's like a salted, like a salted burnt caramel on the palate. Again, with a little bit of like that bacon fat kind of mixed in. It's so rich, it's smoky too. It kind of has that same finish of that smokiness that I'm getting here on the 15th anniversary, but it's definitely more elevated here. Let's go with the 15th anniversary. And yeah, the 15th anniversary is just a different animal altogether. Way more fruit forward. The smoke is there on the back end, just less of it. And I think it's way more buttery. I gotta say, I think what I was thinking before is, is holding true. I think the 15th anniversary is actually way more approachable than the double oaked is. The double oaked is very, very good. But I mean, that is, it's a beast of a whiskey. The 15th anniversary, I think is a lot more approachable. It's a little bit more fruit, well, it's a lot more fruitful, what I would say, uh, you know, when you're kind of, you know, dividing up the flavor profiles one versus the other. I think the 15th anniversary would probably be more universally liked over the double oak because the double oak just has so much going on in it. All right, one last sip of the 15th anniversary. Yeah, I, I just love how this transitions from like that raisin date note up front to this buttery, like butter cookie like type note into this smoky, like baking spice forward on the back end. A light smoke though, not as much as you get on the double oaked. And then the texture of it is just outstanding. I'm not gonna do a final breakdown on this because these bottles are pretty much gone, but I do wanna say this. Do not overpay for this bottle. Obviously, if you're a 13 Colony, you know, super fan, you're gonna probably wanna pay for this bottle, whatever I say. But if you're out there thinking about this bottle and paying $675 for it or $1,000 for it, it's not worth it. It's good right where it should be. A 15th anniversary bottle at sub $200, about eight years, just under nine years old. This type of proof, this type of flavor, that's what it should be. I know it's hard for a lot of people out there because the FOMO kicks in, you want to get all these great bottles, but do not indulge the shop owners that are trying to flip these for $675 and all that. I mean, the more we keep buying it, if we still keep buying it, it's just never ever gonna stop. But I will say uh, kudos to 13 Colony and Graham Arthur Master Siller for curating and creating such a delicious blend. So happy 15 years.
All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this review for the 13 Colony 15th Anniversary Bourbon Whiskey. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the subscribe button below. Please hit the like button. And if you haven't yet, follow me on Instagram. Let me know down in the comments what you think about this one. Were you one of the lucky ones to get your hands on it? Is this a bottle that you're willing to spend the money on? Is this one you're just happy to maybe get a sample of it uh, down the line? So let me know down in the comments. And like I always say, it's not about the whiskey. It's the people you share it with. Cheers, and I'll see you next time right here on The Master and Drum. Should we blend these? Let's blend them. Let's see what happens. I don't have much of that left, so I'm gonna do about equal parts here. Equal parts double oaked. So we'll call this the, um, I don't know, the 15th anniversary double oaked blend from 13th Colony. This, there's no way this can work. Let's see here. Oh, it kind of does. All right. Dude, that nose is fantastic. I'm just saying, I might have created something here. All right, I'm gonna try this, here we go. Now, nah, palate didn't work. It smells better than it tastes. <laughs> gonna just not drink that anymore. <laughs> Cheers, guys.